Hello. For those of you who know me, you know how much I love puzzles. And I also advocate that you should solve puzzles if you were to get better in terms of logical reasoning. And if you want to apply it to tests like the CAT, definitely it is something that you should be extremely good at. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to solve a very special puzzle for you. So Sudoku is something that you know that contains 9 rows, 9 columns, 9 blocks. Every block, row, column will have 1 to 9 digits which will be non-repeating and they will form unique sequences inside every box. So that is something that we know in this particular context. But what if I told you there are different types of Sudokus that exist wherein there might not even be a minimum number of digits that would have been present. So what do you do in that case? So these are the puzzle types that are solved by a lot of people worldwide and they help you develop your logical reasoning ability. Meaning you will be able to put a number only when you're absolutely sure of that particular number. So let's see what this particular puzzle says in terms of the rules and then let's get solving. Now a, a small disclaimer for all of you. I have not seen this puzzle at all. So I have no idea what the solution to this looks like. So whatever I'm going to do is going to be real time. So if I'm getting stuck at some point, you know that I'm getting stuck at that point in time. It's okay, but I'll keep on thinking aloud so that you can follow. Also, what I would suggest is I'll put the link to this particular puzzle in the description box below. You can just go, go to that particular link, open it in your browser, try to solve it on your own. There is a timer that is also present. Try to see if you are able to solve it faster than what I am able to solve it in. And then let's try to compare notes in the comment section below. So if you have any doubts, anything you are not understood, please let me know in the comments section and we'll be try, we'll be more than happy to engage uh, with you in those kind of discussions. Okay, so let's try to look at this. So normal Sudoku rules apply, meaning that 1 to 9 in every row, 1 to 9 in every column and 1 to 9 in all the boxes that are there, 9 boxes, 3 by 3 boxes that are there. The grid is covered in fog, meaning that there will be only some cells that will be visible which will only disappear revealing additional clues as you place the correct digits in the unfogged parts of the grid. So unfogged parts of the grid, you have to put the correct digits and then they will clear the digits surrounding that particular digit that you would have put subject to it being right. Also some X's in red circles and V's in blue circles appear in the grid. Digits separated by an X. So if there are two adjacent digits and if there is an X in the middle, it will mean that these two will add up to 10. And the digits separated by a V sum to a 5. So if there are two digits that are separated by a V, they will add up to 5. Not all possible X's or V's are necessarily given. So there could be two adjacent cells that will add up to a 5, but they would not be separated by a V. So that is perfectly okay, right? So this is basically the puzzle. So let's start with the solution here and let's try to see what happens. So in this particular context, we know that these two boxes are separated by a V because I can see a partial V here. We can also see that these two boxes are separated by an X. Now, what we will do in this context is we will try to resolve this V first. So if we want to add two digits that add up to five or that give a resultant of five, then what will happen? We can either split it as one, four or two, three. But one cannot be present in these two cells because in this box, one is already present. So I can say for sure that these two boxes will contain two and three. So these are pencil marks that I have drawn. Now, these two boxes, these two boxes that we have will add up to a 10 because this I can see is not a V, it is a part of an X, right? So X's are in red circles. So this is a red circle. Now these two should add up to a 10. So if this is 2, then this will become 8, but 8 is already present in this particular box. So I know for sure that this digit is a 3 and that clears some part of the fog and it is a feature of these sudokus, these tricky sudokus wherein if you put a 3 at a corner, then it shows some nice animation. Now because this is 3, this becomes a 2. Because this is 3 and these two have to sum to a 10, this will become a 7. So 1, 2, 3, 7, 8, we have filled 5 cells in this particular box. Now let's see what happens. Now in this context, again, we have a V here that we can see in blue circles is a V. Now V means that these two cells should add up to a 5. But how can we make a 5? Either it is 3 plus 2 or 1 plus 4. Now this cannot be 3 or 2 because they are present here. So this has to be either 1 or 4. But 1 is present here. So this becomes a 4. This becomes a 1. Because these two are separated by an X, this becomes a 9. And now we have started to unlock this entire puzzle that we had. Now what else do we have here? We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 7 and 8. Now I have three, three cells that are vacant. So they will be 5, 6 and 9. Now 9 cannot come in these two because 9 is present here by Sudoku. So 9 will have to be present here. 
Now we have these two cells. One cell is a five and one is a six. But these two are separated by an x. So these two are will add up to ten. Now if this is a five. This will also become a five. So this will become a six. This will become a five. Six plus four gives me ten. So that will be four. Four plus one gives me a five. So that will be a five. Now let's see what else is there in this particular context. Now we know that this is four one. I can see that this is a v. So this will mean that both of them will add to a five. Now this cannot be a four or a one because four and one are both present here. So I know that these two will be two and three in some order. I don't know which one will be two, which one will be three. Now again we can do the same thing that we did in the first block. If this is a two and these two add up to ten, this will become an eight. But eight is already present in this column, so this cannot be an eight, meaning this cannot be a two. So this has to be a three. This has to be a seven. This will have to be a two. And this will have to be an eight because two plus eight will give me the ten in the middle. Again, eight plus two will become ten. So this is what it looks like at this point in time. Now let's see what else do we have here in this particular context. So if I look at this vertical bit, uh, these two cells will add up to ten. It cannot be one plus nine because one is here. It cannot be two plus eight. It cannot be three plus seven. This has to be four plus six. So I just pencil mark four and six here. Similarly, if I were to look at these two cells adding up to ten, what would I get? Ah, uh, one plus nine is not possible because one is here. Two plus eight not possible. Four plus six not possible. So only three plus seven will be possible in this context. But in this box, you can see that this is already marked in red because three is already present here. This will have to be seven, which means that this will have to be three. Now let's look at this particular block because this looks like a five to me. Now two and three cannot be present here, so these will have to be one and four in some order. I don't know what is the order. Let's look at these two because these two add up to ten. One uh, plus nine not possible. Two uh, plus eight possible. Seven plus three not possible. Four plus six not possible. So these two have to be something between two and eight. Two is already present in this box. This will be eight. This will be two. Now you will see that the fog has started clearing gradually. Similarly, if we were to look at this one again, four six we cannot say anything. Uh, one four we cannot say anything. Just that if you look at let's say this one, if this is a one, then what will happen in this context? Uh, it will either be if this is one, then this will become nine, and if this is four, this will become six. Now one thing you can observe in this box is these two cells will contain one and four in some order. So whatever the four that is there in this box will be in one of these two cells. So you cannot have a four here. So this will become a six. This will become a four. This cannot be a six because six is already there in the box. This will become a nine. This will be one. This will be four. And in this entire block, we have one, two, three, four, five is not there, so the middle digit will be a five. So that is what we know. Now we have made use of all these things that we had here. So let's try to look at this particular five, this V that we have. Uh, it will either be one plus four or two plus three. But four cannot be present in this cell. Four cannot be present in this cell. So these two have to be two and three. But two is already present here, so this will be a three. This will be a two. Now because three plus something will give me a ten, this will be a seven. Now again, we have a V here, and three and two are present in this box. So these two have to be one four. I know that one cannot be there because it is already present in the column. So this will be a four. This will be a one. One plus something gives me a ten. So this will become a nine. So now we have kind of uh, exist, and we will be able to manage this Sudoku on the basis of the clues that we have at this point in time. So let's see what else do we have. Uh, if I look at this column, because I can see seven digits here, one, two, uh, three is not there, and six is not there. So three will be here because six is already in that row, and six will be here. Similarly, if I look at it here, one, two, three, four, five, and eight are not there. I don't know which one is where. I just mark it and keep it. So in these kind of sudokus, you can just mark and keep because that will make your life slightly easier. Uh, you have one, two, three, four, five, and eight is what I need. Five cannot be here because five is already there in the row. So five goes here, eight goes there, and in this particular column you have one. So two is not there. Two, six, nine are not here. Six and nine are present here, so two will go here, and you will have a six nine pair here. So we don't know which one is where. So we we'll let go of this one. We'll try to look at this particular clue because that is the only thing that we haven't touched as of now. So let's see. These two will add up to ten. Nine plus one is not allowed. Eight plus two is not allowed. So this can either be six plus four or seven plus three, but four is already present, so this has to be three plus seven. So I don't know where will three three be, where will seven be, but now I know that seven is present in this row, so this will become a three, this will become a seven. Now again, you can see that this has cleared out. 
Now these two cannot be 9 plus 1. These two cannot be 7 plus 3. These two cannot be 6 plus 4. They have to be 2 plus 8. But 8 is already present here. This will become a 2. This will become an 8. Again, you have to have two things here, but 3 plus 2 is not allowed because uh, this cannot be 3, this cannot be 3. So, these will have to be 1 and 4 in some order, but I don't know which one is where. So, I'll just look at it as it is. Now, let's try to look at this column because we don't have any clues left here. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7 and 8 are left here. 7 cannot be in these two cells. So, 7 will have to be here. 5 and 8 have to be in these two blocks. So, 5 will be here, 8 will be here because 8 is already present. Now, because of this 8, this cell can only be 5, this cell can only be 8, so that we have handled. Similarly, if you look at this block, I can see this 1 will not allow these two cells to become 1, so this will basically be a 1. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 9 are the two digits left here because 6 is here, 9 will come here, 6 will come here. If you look at this particular column, I have 1, 2, 3, I don't have a 4 and I don't have a 6 here. Uh, because 4 is present here, 6 will be here and I think 4 will be here. Uh, you have 3 and uh, 5 left here. So, if because 3 is here, 5 will be here and 3 will be here. Uh, if you look at this particular row, 1 and 4 are in these two blocks. 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 are there. So, this has to be a 2 and that will clear some fog. But I haven't seen anything else. So, let's do more of this now. Uh, I have 1 here. I have 2 here. I don't have 3 and I don't have 6. So, this is going to be a 3, 6 pair, I believe. And if I look at these three, because these digits have been taken, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7 and 9 are left. So, 5, 7, 9 will be in these uh, three boxes. I don't know which one is where. If I look at this one, 1, 2, I don't have a 3 and I don't have a 5. Uh, but I don't know where will the 3 and 5 be. So, I just mark 3 and 5 and keep here. Similarly, if I look at it here, I don't have a 1, I don't have a 6 and I don't have a 9. So, I'll have to mark 1, 6, 9 here. Uh, I think I'm getting stuck somewhere. Let's see. 1, 2, 3 are done. 4, 7 and 8 are left. 8 cannot be here. I just write 4, 7, 8 and then remove the 8 from this block. Um, what about this one? I have uh, or this one rather 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 9 are left. Okay. I cannot really write, keep on writing everything everywhere. So, we will just hold on to this for, uh, for uh, the, at this point in time. I can see a 2 somewhere. Yeah? I can see a 2 here. I can see a 2 here. So, if I look at this box, there is no 2 present. Take care. So, these two cannot be 2, these two cannot be 2, this cannot be 2, this cannot be 2, the middle digit has to be a 2 and that will clear some fog and now we have got some nice numbers here. Again, I have two digits, 3, 2 is not possible, 1 is here, so this will be 4, this will be 1, this will be 9, uh, this cannot be 4, this cannot be 1 or 9, so it has to be a 6 and these two cannot be 6. All right. So, this is what we have got. This cannot be a 6. This has to be a 3. This will be a 6. And again, we have got 3 at the corner. So, uh, nice animation we are getting here. 5 will be here. 3 will be here. This will be a 7. Uh, this will be an 8. Um, and this cannot be an 8. These two cannot be 7s. So, we have got till this point. I also know that this has to be a 6. I know that this has to be a 9. Uh, this is the ninth digit. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 will be present here. Um, if you look at this row, I again have 8 digits. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, I will have a 5 that will be present here. This will become a 9. This will become a 5. And uh, this will become a 1. This will become a 9 because this is 1. This will be 4. This will be 1. And we are almost at the end of this puzzle. So, if you look at this column, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 will be here. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, 8 will be here. And that is basically the solution to this particular question. Uh, I was able to do it in 10 minutes, 44 seconds. But again, I spoke also in the uh, entire duration. So just try out this puzzle on your own. And do let me know in the comment section if you like these kind of puzzles. I would be more than happy to do something like this. Uh, because it gives you a perspective and it helps you go from one point in time to the other uh, through logical reasoning. I did not guess any number that was present here. Logically, we tried to calculate where a particular number will be and that's how we arrived at the solution. So, if you like something like this, do let me know. I would love to make some other videos on these concepts, maybe a different concept altogether. Uh, do give this uh, Sudoku a try. I have put the link to this particular puzzle in the, uh, come in the description box below. And uh, do try, do solve it out on your own. And uh, definitely, if you enjoy these things, do consider giving us a like and do subscribe to the channel and share it with all of your friends whom you believe we are going to benefit from these initiatives.